All right, y'all. So we got our walk in every moving day. Yeah, pretty much every day. Anyways, we get a walk in because you know when we sitting all day. Got our walk in, and I'm just gonna kind of show you the state of the place as we getting ready. You know, putting up dishes, which we'll do probably now another load of dishes after breakfast, so everything is cleaned up and whatnot. You know, table covered with stuff. Got the vlogging stuff out this morning. <laughs> You know, but well, all that will be cleaned off on the bar over there. The flowers, the plants are secured down with, um, what's that still called? Cement? Earthquake putty. Earth, earthquake putty. Yeah, the flowers down with it too. Um, the, I think the bamboo is. Yeah, the flowers are not. But the flowers yeah. are not. <laughs> so I have to do the flowers. And then our office back here, as you can see up there at the top, storage. That becomes storage. Well, it's most storage most of the time unless we have guests. Um... We bring in that big black box there is our gym, all our weights that can fit in there. Um, what else we got? That Com net holds things on the bed because we learned the hard way. Oh, yeah. This net right here. And we'll show you, give you a show of that. Um, hold stuff down. Of course, the desk could be secured in our office. Um, this thing usually, this bench is usually out there with a black weight box is our gym. What else? It'll move in between here. Yeah, move in between here so everything will come in. Um, what else you got, babe? No, this is so the longer you stay someplace, the longer it takes to get ready to go. So this is day number probably three of actual getting ready to go, yeah. packing stuff up. Yeah, you started like what two days ago. That's sort of Wednesday, I think. Wednesday ish, a little bit a little bit here and there. Yeah. So if you are if you are RVing, you know that the longer you stay, the more stuff you get out, the more entrenched <laughs> you get. So it's good to start packing up at least three or four days in advance so that you don't get to moving day and have to get up at midnight in order to get everything done. Yeah. It, there's a lot of stuff that has to be done when, you're, when you've been someplace for a while. Right. We'll have to show y'all uh, the grass around the RV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we've been getting cut, but... You know, they don't trim. They just come and cut around, which we had to move everything for them to cut the grass, like our dog fence and stuff. But it looked like a jungle out there. <laughs> yeah, we got some grass that's probably almost hip high yeah. out there. So, all right. Just wanted to show y'all that. We getting ready to have breakfast, and then after breakfast, continue to pack up. So, all right, y'all. So we got Jeff doing some uh, magic <laughs> over here. Turns about magic. <laughs> putting the netting back on. Y'all, yeah. So, we were trying to show you, I was say earlier, it was kind of dark. This netting. It's holds. a truck bed net. So, it's designed to hold place and stuff in the truck bed. Yep. It holds down stuff, storage, up here. So. Make sure it actually covers everything. We'll Got some winter gear up there. You can see some, um, there's some heaters up there. Some chairs, outdoor chairs. A little bit of stuff that can't fit under, under storage or under our bed that has storage. It's stuff that we don't use very often, or that it's relatively easy to get down from here, actually. Yeah. And this one is the one that's a pain in the ass. So, yeah, I just want to get out a little, little view of that. Y'all hear that? Yeah. It's called, I'm standing here waiting to do stuff. All right. Getting the fence put up. This is when you know it's getting real. Yep. Time to shut down. Jasper over here hanging out. Like we put a fence collar on him. Because he likes to jump and jump over the fence. He likes visiting the pig next door. Visiting the pig. So we set up what well, most places will allow, if they allow you to have X pins. Animal pin, yep. doggy pin, whichever you want to call it. And so the dogs have a pretty good yard up until then. If y'all been following us for any time, we used to have two dogs. 
We're just shy of uh, about a week and a half. Our pit bull passed after 12 years of being with us. So they had a good amount of fence here, this big area, to play and even sprint. I wouldn't say run, but sprint around the yard. <laughs> Zoomies. So yeah, just wanted to show y'all that set up. And then the patio here, if you hadn't seen our like full tour, we do have a patio. And then through the patio is the office. And this is how we put things from the outside that we need to store inside. Put the patio down. Now, it can go down to a ramp. Yep. It's a pretty steep ramp. And we have a bike rack and some other stuff underneath it, so we don't ever put it down on a ramp. Yeah. But so, it, it but yeah, when we need to use the all the way down, we put it down makes easier uh, makes um, life easier carrying stuff up and then last out here of course is the stuff on the picnic table and once the ramp is up Jeff will put the bikes on there and uh, yeah so all right y'all well as you can see let me give you a little view aerial view Everything is put away, getting down to the last thing. I just finished up the dishes, vacuuming. And now we want to show you how we secure the cabinets and whatnot. Um, we got these little ball tassel situations on Amazon. That's not the correct name, but uh, find it out and find out what it is and I'll put it in the description box. Bungee fastener. Oh, bungee fastener. And when we put one on the refrigerator, we put all the ones that have doors right next to each other. Just in case. Um, the worst thing is when you forget the fridge and you stop for a break and all the uh, stuff Yes, on the that's happened a couple times. That's the worst. In the earlier days of RVing. These cabinets up here, um, they don't come open generally. Um, and then with our glass cabinet, this one, our glass. I put a pillow in the um, what else is it? The um, paper tile in front, just in case it has some support so the glass don't roll out and um, fall. These are good to have with you. They they come in handy on all kinds of things. Yep. So you can use them for everything. So, anyways, we're about in full travel profile. Um, sometimes people ask how long it takes you to get ready to go. Once we're to where we're at travel profile, yeah, 45 minutes an hour, no big deal. Yep. So that's where we're at, we're ready to get going. All right, y'all. Well, we're about to hit it. Final things done, everything's secure. Clean as it all, it be. <laughs> the only time to RV is clean is when you're leaving. When you're leaving, secure everything's back here. A little dark, but I, we trying to show y'all, talked a little bit about it earlier. Computer secure. Uh, bed secure with storage all the outside stuff brought in yeah we all good to go, to go. and time to go all right so uh, miss jeff put a uh, hooking up now he's doing a pull -a test on his to make sure the hitch in the rv in the truck is attached oh nope. nope see that's why you check it So now what you got it? What? Why? Why wasn't it locked? I don't know. Hand me that. Can you toss that? Did you get that sound the first time? No. Normally you don't have to do that. Oh. Sometimes you do. So now you'll check it again, right? Yep. Now we'll check until we get a successful pull <laughs> <laughs> No. Good? You sure? Yeah, do it again. You know you've been here long when it takes you to get another board to get that out. We couldn't get it out before we got the before we got the camera on. We've been here so long that 
it like cemented in. Are you keeping that one? We um saw some, I guess not me, but Jeff on one of the boards, termites. So we ain't taking those ones. Pulling forward to get some blocks. Yeah, you know we're near the picnic table. Do you want me to go look? Make sure you leave nothing? Okay. So now we are... We're out of here. I just trying to check, make sure we didn't leave nothing behind. I don't think there's anything. Caught a bittersweet. Everything looks good. So sad. So sad for the grass. <laughs> so I usually follow behind until we get up to like the main road just to make sure we everything is good. <laughs> right, babe? <laughs> no. Doubly sure, he said. It really sucks to experience. So yeah, I just follow behind until, like I said, till we get to the main road. So nice and sweet. These turns here is kind of sharp, and there's some good like drop off or hill sections here. At this part, you all right up there on your side? Pavements. Whoops. So we just lost the charcoal bin <laughs> on this turn. It was a little sharp. I didn't get a chance to film it. <laughs> all right. Well, I would say all right, all right. Well, this is just us adding on to our move from Lake Gunterville. So we're wrapping this video up um, yep. for our trek from Lake Gunnersville to Kentucky, to Ohio, to Indiana, until Michigan. We wanted to update y'all. Yeah, so we're currently in Michigan. <laughs> We've actually got out and done some driving and some traveling, and it actually has gone rather well. So we went from Gunnersville to Dueling Grounds Distillery, which is a Harvest Host location. It was really easy in, really easy out, had a nice big parking lot, and every time the camera gets turned on, this is him. Get down. Get down. Go on. So anyways, it was an easy drive, it was an no. easy off the, off the interstate, easy location to stop at, and uh, we got there a little bit before close, so we were able to sample their bourbon and have a uh, have a drink. Jeff which did. I'm not a bourbon. Yeah. Which, after getting there, uh, we actually had some issues that caused us to want to drink. Uh, basically, <laughs> <laughs> basically, um, you know, it was our first time disconnected and on the road with the solar setup and the, well, the major changes in the electrical system that we did to get the solar working and generators and all of it didn't really play well nice stop, play well together stop me for one but. second i forgot we didn't back up and i don't know if we're filming this or not this is what happened you know film right away we should have been in this but anyway true full of transparency leaving lake gunnersville everything went smooth did you say yeah. that um we didn't fight for the first time oh. in a long time yeah. <laughs> we actually got on the road without fighting normally without fighting Oh, well, that's a stressful moment. In five or six minutes, we pulled out. I think the time was twelve o'clock to be yeah. out of there. We pulled out twelve o six. Somebody even made a little joke about it. They yeah. came over to, um, you know, um, Igo, Ugo, Igo, over our RV. Oh, Igo. Igo, that's the word. Yeah. <laughs> came and he was like, he made a joke about it being twelve o five. I think it was twelve o six. But anyway, I just wanted to make sure we said that that. It was really great. Everything went smooth um, and no issues. So carry on back to the the air. Yeah. So we, <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a really smooth day. It traveled day. It was like we were 
like we knew what we were doing or something, yeah. you know? So we got there, we set up, we fired up the generator, and stuff just did not work. And it was hot, and we couldn't get the air conditioning to work. So there was a learning curve, and there's still a learning curve that's ongoing to make everything work with our uh, solar setup and our generators and all that. It's not quite, you know, solar and generators and integrating it all in an RV is not quite plug and play. It requires some work and some learning, some adjusting settings and adjusting your power consumption and how everything works and learning how exactly everything works. And we're still kind of in that learning curve. But yeah, we struggled that night. So we had a rather warm night that night because the AC kind of worked and kind of didn't work sometimes. And the power kind of worked and kind of didn't sometimes. And it was just a rough day. The next day, oh yeah, we bought a bottle of bourbon there. It was okay bourbon. We bought it because we stayed there, yeah, which is good for them and right. good for us, but it was just okay bourbon. I wouldn't do it again. Mm -hmm. um, the next day, we had another easy day on to Winton Woods, which is our favorite campground in Ohio. It was a really easy day, really easy tow, really easy into the campground. Everything yeah. just went perfect. Yeah, we got I mean, here in we daylight. Even, yeah, we got in there in daylight, and we even got into the campsite first try. Yeah. The campus didn't have to get out. So. I didn't get out. Oh. Yeah, it's something something to summer, being longer days, getting in at a decent time. Well, we left at a decent time, yep. too, so. It is nice to travel in the summer because you get in and it's still light out. In yep. the winter, you get in, especially after daylight savings time, you get in at 5 or 6 at night and it's dark and it's miserable and it's just not a good right. experience. Yep. So anyways, uh, we've got some more footage to, to get together for Winton Woods yep. Pop that and in. a little bit of our... Uh, time in Indiana. We stopped over for a couple of days in Indiana and then here in Michigan visiting family We're actually parked in the yard yep. trying to figure out how to make everything work the best off our solar and generator and at some point we're going to go ahead and do a, a video on a blog on Our adventures in solar. Yeah, which has been an adventure yep. <laughs> To say the least. Yep, but it's working. I mean all our power right now is basically coming out solar um, So that's good Anyways, you can go ahead and close it up. <laughs> and that's it, y'all. Just wanted to update y'all. Keep y'all updated. Keep our videos a little bit more um, consistent. <laughs> and so, current. yeah, in current. So, um, do us a favor if you're new to RBN or if you have any questions, um, like we always say, drop them in the comments. We would love to. It helps us create content when we're thinking of, like, what should we talk about this week or what video should we make. Um, so, definitely ask away and like comment <laughs> and share share and um, hit the bell for um, notifications from when we drop a video and uh, we'll see you next time thanks for watching thank you for watching bye y'all